Ja, guten Abend. Uh, if there is one thing I really do not want to talk about, then uh, it's the Football World Cup. Uh, you do know the World Cup is still on, don't you? Uh, it's not the time for bragging for me either, as Germany is going home empty-handed too, uh, immediately a week and a half more tanned. <laughs> Football is so much less fun when you're not winning. Uh, uh, we're, we're Germans, we're simply not as good as we used to be. We, we haven't won a major tournament now for 14 years. In fact, we haven't even been to a final of one for almost 24 months. <laughs> All those days of hurt. Uh, <laughs> so let's cast our mind back to happier World Cup memories. 4-1. <laughs> I did arrive on these shores in 2002, um, living in Tooting, South London, in it. Uh, <laughs> governor. Uh, so I've never been here for an important England-Germany game, and it's, it's a big game, isn't it? Big game, England-Germany, big game for England anyway. <laughs> Germany usually have a few even more important games to play after. <laughs> a strange rivalry. Germany has been to 13 major finals, England to one. Well, it is a big game. Germans are at least as excited about playing England as Man United supporters are about playing West Brom <laughs> in the Carling Cup. <laughs> Second round. Uh, where, where did it all go wrong for England? England did so well in a qualifying campaign, didn't you? England top of the group. You played ten, you won nine. Amazing England, top of the group. And what a group it was. <laughs> Andorra, <laughs> Kazakhstan, Belarus, Ukraine, Croatia. Twenty years ago, none of them was even an independent country. <laughs> now, other than Andorra, they were all tiny parts of Yugoslavia and Soviet Union. They were rubbish at football in their heyday. <laughs> So I've got more and more the sneaky suspicion that the uh, end of communism was nothing more than a very, very, very cunning plan by the English Football Association <laughs> in order to break up Eastern Europe into smaller and smaller countries <laughs> until they're now so small that England can actually beat them. <laughs> and for similar motives did I donate 100 quid to Basque separatists this morning. <laughs> I mean, I was disappointed with the tame reaction of the uh, English public to the defeat against Germany. Instead of wasting your time criticizing players and manager, should have revived the spirit of Wembley 1996 and randomly smashed up German cars. <laughs> and I said, Mercedes, BMW, Rover. <laughs> Just like 96, you should have smashed up all those German cars and that way forcing the owners to buy new ones. Uh, <laughs> by God, could the German car industry do with that help? Uh, well, what can I say? Enjoy the final, keep believing 2014. That'll be your year. 